you guys welcome back to my channel I disappeared for a few days I just felt like I had to um, gather some thoughts and it's just been a really heavy week and you know I only do readings when I feel like energetically I'm in the right place it's not fair to me or to you guys so but the timing was really well because I have been going tarot crazy the last week in terms of getting new decks and stuff so I have um, some new decks with me I bought the good tarot deck um, thank you to a friend of mine who um, always was doing readings for me and I asked her I think a few times what this deck was but this is a deck that I really is really beautiful the mystic Mondays um, I have this guidance uh, goddess guidance Oracle deck from Durian virtue and last but not least something that I had kind of talked about in a few videos that I was really passionate about was the Twin Flame journey so I have Twin Flame Volume 2 from Mystic Moon so I'm so super stoked about this deck it's so near and dear to my heart and I'm going to be using my Old Faithful Aquarian deck so anyways um, hope you guys are having a good week I wasn't really sure what sign I was going to do going into this but I think I'm just going to go with Pisces right now and um yeah so i'm going to be using a lot of decks a lot of messages hopefully i get some good for you so let's see what's going on with pisces currently starting with the aquarian deck now i haven't even used any of these decks other than the twin flame messages is um pretty um straightforward because it's just the message but like some of these kind of do a change um of like suits and stuff so um okay so for the pisces i am getting an eight of wands and a magician reversed with the judgment reversed on the bottom of the deck here so some of you are waiting on communication or or engaging in communication but i definitely see some communication and some movement and some um changes happening here uh with the magician reverse um i feel like someone might be using their power in communication in a not so benevolent way um manipulative or it could be that someone feels like they don't have the power to communicate right now that's what i'm getting kind of some of you guys might be in a position where um, you want to communicate, but this is action, so I don't just think it's a desire, I think it is actually happening, but you're feeling like you're either coming from or working with a force that's not letting you manifest what you want through this communication is the feeling I'm getting, so, um, like I said, these cards are a little different, so if I do get a suit and it kind of baffles me, it might take me a minute, I've never used it, I just opened it, so this is the Mystic Mondays beautiful cards though I just love the aesthetics of them the fool and the emperor wow so some heavy Aries energy here guys um, some of you are really taking on this Aries energy of wanting to um, take some chances but also be very um, mature and responsible now like I said I kind of do like a twin flame kind of angle on things so for me when I see the emperor that's the ultimate uh twin flame card so some of you might be dealing with um an Aries or some of you just might be dealing with a masculine um twin flame but there's definitely a masculine twin flame energy here for someone who I feel like is ready to start a fresh start with um you know maybe in the past they weren't able to you know um, embrace all their divine masculine qualities but I feel like with now they're actually like really excited and kind of it's really weird though because the fool is like the first card of the major arcana and it's sort of like someone who doesn't really know what they're getting themselves into but they're willing to take a chance it's very fresh and the emperor I feel like is someone who has learned a lot of um, tough lessons already so this is extremely interesting to see these cards together but it also might be balancing that sense of innocence with that sense of maturity as well so there could be um you know trying to an integration um if you guys are dealing with um 
a divine masculine situation that person might be trying to integrate both like their inner child and the mature adult within them so oh my god you guys i got the fool again so some of you really are embarking on i feel like a new beginning of some sort um and the magician again wow um interesting very very interesting the magician reverse was here now we have the magician so um I do feel like with the fool going into the magician, there is a, um, a progression forward here. Um, I feel like you guys are feeling very, like, powerful and very, like, which is weird because I had the magician reverse. The other person in your situation might not be feeling so, but I do feel like... This magician here is also telling me to um, kind of like, I guess because we did have it reversed and now it's upright, it's just a really strong message to look within you and see that the power that you have within any situation, if you have an optimistic outlook, because the fool is the ultimate optimist. If you have that outlook of like, you know what, like the past is the past, I don't have to define my life and my outlook on the world based on things that happened in the past you could literally wipe the slate clean like you have the power to do that and you could create any reality that you want so that's what the fool and the magician actually kind of both remind us of so Okay, there's definitely twin flame situation going on here um, with the emperor and the empress. So some of you really might be dealing with your divine counterpart right now. If you are the empress, you guys are, you know, really getting into your divine feminine. You're taking care of your body. You're kind of, you know, doing things that out of like creation, like you're creating things, you're in your artistic um, realm, you're, you're just kind of um, tapping into all of your resources as like the divine feminine and really realizing the power that you guys have as well in any situation. So that's really beautiful. And I feel like the person you're dealing with is stepping it up. So they're realizing that you are the empress to the emperor as well. And um, Ace of Cups. Wow, guys, this is a really beautiful reading so far. We've got a lot of positivity. The Magician, the Eight of Wands, the Emperor, the Empress, the Fool. A lot of new beginnings here. A lot of, um, a lot of love offerings. Um, cup runneth over here. Um, let's see if I can get any oracle guidance from the Goddess, guide, goddess Guidance Oracle deck. I had a Doreen Virtue deck that I just haven't used in a while. I haven't been in the location that I left it at. So this is, of course I get one that I can't pronounce, Sarasvati, the arts, express yourself through creative activities. What did I just say with the Empress? This is a very creative time, you know, Taurus, actually it's Taurus new moon tonight and Taurus is ruled by Venus and um, it's a very, um, it's a planet of the arts, you know, of beauty, of love, of um, just everything aesthetic because Venus rules Libra too. So um, I think now is a really good time to get, you know, and this is perfect for Pisces, you know, get into your creative side, um, harness those creative juices. This is a really synchronous reading so far. Undying love. Wow. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So this is reminding you guys that whatever your situation is right now in the tangible world, don't judge it by that because there's a love here that is so deep and it could be from previous lifetimes that you're dealing with, especially if emperors emperor and empress that's also confirmation but some of you might not be with this person but i do feel like they're going to be coming in with the eight of wands i don't know um 
how quickly this is going to happen, but just keep the faith, and this card is telling you that, you know, this love is really what you feel like it is, so for those of you who are in um, a separation with a twin flame, or, you know, you're wondering what they're thinking, I'm just going to get some twin flame messages from them, see what's was me it was not you whoa that's a strong one guys so um they're all strong but that's like this total emperor energy of like someone admitting their faults and whatever they made you feel like it was your fault for why they couldn't come through why they couldn't be your counterpart everything that happened everything that caused you pain everything that made you self-doubt they're telling you it wasn't you and even if I made you feel like it is this deck is kind of this message is for people who can't really say what they're truly feeling this is like really big so they're admitting that it was them that they had some limitations they couldn't look at themselves they couldn't step up to the plate to be the person that you needed them to be and they weren't in their emperor energy so they were kind of cowardly and they made you feel like it was your fault because they weren't able to take ownership but I feel like they're telling you through this reading that they really are Coming, having a turnaround, I feel like with the Eight of Wands, they are going to communicate this at some point. Let's see, one more message from them. <clears throat> Am I good enough for you? Wow, guys. Okay. So, I feel like this is so interesting because with this, um, it really was me, it was, it was not you, am I good enough for you? These messages are telling me that everything that happened with this person that you're thinking about was not because they weren't thinking you were good enough or they thought it was all your fault. They're really actually deep down, a lot of it was a projection because they didn't feel like they were good enough for you and they treated you bad and it might have even been in a subconscious way because they didn't feel deserving of you. So if you walked away feeling like, you didn't deserve them it was actually because they felt like they didn't deserve you on a deep level and I feel like they're really having these revelations now and um things are really coming to the surface for them they're having these lessons they're breaking down their walls and they're realizing like wow like a lot of what happened I was projecting on this person and I know that like this is a really big thing for any human being to get to have these revelations because most of us walk around very unconsciously and we never even have these questions in our mind we don't have the karmic situations that force us to look in ourselves so I feel like but this is a common thing for twin flames because they are called to a higher journey of consciousness and awakening and so they are actually the ones that end up asking these questions about themselves like what was driving my behavior like why did I do this to this person and things are going to happen in their world that are going to start cracking that open and making them think about the fact that the way they treated you, their like ultimate counterpart as the empress, was a complete reflection of how their own relationship with themselves. So, guys, this is a really beautiful message. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I felt like it was a very solid message and everything kind of flowed and made sense all together. So, um, thanks for tuning in with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.